We want to have people be part of our family. And I think the space says that. You know, it's not a space that you can't touch or walk or sit or, you know, or, or not, or be afraid that you're going to break something. You know, so we designed it in where it's a lot of warm earth tone colors that it, it looks very inviting and that it's not something that, you know, you don't want to, you want to touch because you want to leave a fingerprint. You know? Yeah, that you all are welcome here. And so when you walk in, yeah, it's sort of, oh, wow, look Massive. at this house, but also I'm welcome in this house. That's the point that we want to get across that, you know, everybody is welcome and we uh, enjoy having people over. And it's, it's a home for us, but it's also a home for other people. Well, it's a big house, hopefully it's a home for us. <laughs> <laughs> we are both from the South. Um, I was raised in the western part of North Carolina. I was born in the eastern <laughs> part of the state, so we're Carolina boys. Our charity this year is Kids Fight Cancer uh, because we wanted to focus on kids, children, and children who are suffering in some way. And so uh, because our former charity, uh, Pediatric AIDS, folded, we had to find another charity. So uh, kids who are, are um, struck with cancer seem to be a, a worthy cause. What makes this one so special? This year, this part. Oh, God. That it's happening at all. <laughs> yeah. Because we really didn't know if it was going to happen. We had planned a, a housewarming party for September. Um, and then when that didn't happen, we were thinking, well, surely the house will be ready by December. But then when October came and things still weren't where they should the be. The chill was in the air. Yeah, and, we were like, you know, we're like. And so we had a we had a meeting with our contractor, and like, we're down to the wire. I need to start baking if if this is going to happen. So give us your honest opinion. Should we have this party? He said, do not cancel it. The house will be ready. So we said, <sighs> okay. And I, I'm still trying to take that deep breath. The party is two days from now, and there's still a lot to do. But it's going to be done. It's going to be done, and it's going to happen, and it's going to be fabulous. I'm a Southerner, and I love to cook. And for me, cooking is about giving someone a part of yourself. And so I wouldn't have it any other way. I would not allow anyone to help me bake any of these things. One, because I enjoy it, but also because I take pride in the things that I bake. And so for me to continue this tradition and now have it attached to a charity is just a wonderful feeling. It's very gratifying for me. And so no matter how stressful it is, and sometimes it gets to be stressful because you know I'm, I have a job, <laughs> and then I'm, I'm cooking in between, you know, traveling to campus and, and teaching and, and all of those things. But when I come back and I'm deep in butter and sugar and flour and, and the cake rises, it's really, really gratifying for me. We didn't want the kitchen to be too modern, too slick, because again, we're Southerners. So we wanted to have a traditional feel, but also be contemporary. And we, and we wanted a space that was inviting to, yes. to people because that wasn't you know, cold. It wasn't cold, and you know, and and like you know, very shiny tops. So this is really all about the kitchen. It is all the house. About the, the, the house you're standing in now was designed around the kitchen. We've been here ten days. <laughs> We were, we were cooking here uh, well before we were living here because I started baking around November 14th, 15th, but we literally just moved in about 10 days ago. Uh, so it's, it's been touch and go. <laughs> <laughs> They're raising money to uh, build a new wing of the Children's Hospital at Northwestern Hospital. And so not only will it help kids who are currently hospitalized, I mean us raising money now will help current kids fighting cancer, but it will, you know, endure, you know, for years we're helping raise funds to help them build this, this hospital uh, and to help you know, countless number of kids, you know, down the road. But, you know, we, we wanted to keep the party centered around children, and especially children that um, have done nothing of their own fault. You know, we started with the, the pediatric AIDS, and now we got children who are, you know, fighting a battle that, with hopefully our help and, and God's help, that they will win. Um, so, 
I didn't really want to do something, you know, with, that wasn't children related because so much of the holidays is, is about children, you know, and the adults enjoying the, the, the children enjoying the holiday, you know, seeing their face light up. And, and also, and, and going back to the party we went to last year, seeing the, the children get a little toy that's just so, for us, it's just so minor and, and, and small and minuscule. But for them, it's so big because they may not have something like that if it wasn't for us and other people that are helping them at this time of the year. We are so blessed in so many ways. And to, to do this little thing every year, I mean, I, even though it seems you know, daunting to a lot of people, and I guess it is, but for us it is kind of a little thing that, that we do every year that we just want to help and give back um, because we're so blessed, you know, and we want to share our blessings with other people.